Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. Before we begin, let me ask you a question. What is the next number in the series 1, 4, 9, 18, 35? Comment your answer below in the comment box with proper explanation. This is my 8th lecture on real analysis. The topic is 1, 1 and 2 functions. And at least one question is asked each year from this topic in CSI net examination. So let us begin. 1 1 or injective function. Let f be a function whose domain set is x, then f is said to be 1 1 if for all a and b in x, whenever f of a is equal to f of b, then a is equal to b. Or if a is not equal to b, then f of a is not equal to f of b. Symbolically, we write it as for all a b belongs to x if f a is equal to f b implies a is equal to b or for all a b belongs to x if a is not equal to b implies f of a is not equal to f of b. Let us understand this more clearly with the help of some diagrams 1 1 functions and not 1 1 functions. The functions on the left side are 1 1 because for each element in the domain there exists only one image in the codomain. But the functions on the right side are not 1 1 as for 3 there exist 2 images in codomain and in the second example for 3 there exists no image in the codomain. Now what are onto or surjective functions? Let f be a function whose domain is a set x and codomain is a set y. Then f is said to be onto if for all y in y there exists at least one x in x. Symbolically, we write it as if f is a function from x to y, then f is said to be onto if for all y belongs to y, there exists x belongs to x such that f of x is equal to why? Let us understand this more clearly with the help of diagrams onto functions and not onto functions. The functions on the left side are onto because for each element in codomain there exists a pre image in domain, but the functions on the right side are not onto as there does not exist pre image for D and also for C in the codomain. Now what are 1 1 and onto or bijective function? Let f be a function whose domain is a set x and codomain is a set y. Then f is said to be 1 1 onto if for all y in y there is a unique x in x such that f of x is equal to y. Remember it for onto functions it was just there exists a x in x but here is a unique x. We can understand this more clearly with the help of diagram. Here the function is 1 1 because for each element in domain there is an image in codomain and it is also onto because for each element in codomain there is a pre image in domain. This function is 1 1 but not onto. Here the function is onto but not 1 1. This function is neither 1 1 nor onto. And this function is 1 1 and onto. Now let us solve some examples from the competitive exam. Example 1. Consider a map f from q the set of rational numbers to r the set of real numbers defined by f of x is equals to 0 if x equals to 0 and p by 10 raised to q if x is equals to p by q where p belongs to z, q belongs to n and GCD of PQ is equals to 1. Then the map F is option A 1 1 and onto B not 1 1 but onto C onto but not 1 1 and D neither 1 1 nor onto. This question was asked in CSIN at December 2018 part B. Let us solve the question. Solution We know from the definition of onto map that if f is a function from x to y, 
then it is onto if for all y belongs to y there exist x belong to x such that f of x is equals to y here the function f is from q to r and if f is onto it means that for all r belongs to r there exists a q belongs to q such that f of q is equals to r but the cardinality that is number of elements in r is continuum which is more than the cardinality that is number of elements of q which means that codomain has more elements than domain so it is not possible that for all r in r there exists a q in q such that f of q is equals to r so f is not on to and therefore option a b and c are false so clearly d is true but still we check whether the function is 1 1 or not now f of x is equals to 0 if x equals to 0 and p by 10 raised to q if x is equals to p by q for p belongs to z q belongs to n and gcd of pq is equals to 1 now take p is equals to 1000 and q is equals to 3 and gcd of pq is 1 Then we get f of thousand by three is equals to thousand by ten raised to three, which is equals to one. And now take p is equals to ten and q is equals to one, and GCD of p q is one. Therefore, f of ten by one is equals to ten by ten raised to one, which is equals to one. Here, f of thousand by three is equals to f of ten by one, but thousand by three is not equals to ten by one. so f is not 1 1 also hence the correct answer is option d example 2 let f be a function from x to x such that f of f of x is equals to x for all x belongs to x then f is the options are a 1 1 and on to b 1 1 but not on to c on to but not 1 1 and d neither 1 1 not on to this question was asked in csr net june 2015 part b solution given f of f of x is equals to x for all x belongs to x we know that identity function i of x is equals to x for all x belongs to x which means that f of f of x is equals to i of x now this gives us f of x is equals to f inverse x this is possible when f of x is itself an identity function and we know that identity function is 1 1 and on to therefore f of x is also 1 1 and on to so the correct answer is option a example 3 that z denote the set of integers and z greater than 0 denote the set 0 1 2 and so on and consider the map f from z greater than 0 cross z to z given by f of mn is equals to 2 raised to m into 2n plus 1 then the map f is option a 1 1 and on to b 1 1 but not on to C onto but not one one, and D neither one one nor onto. This question was asked in CSI Net June 2017 Part B. Now let us solve the question. Solution: We know that for one one map, if A is not equals to B, it implies f of A is not equals to f of B. Now take m one not equals to m two and n one not equals to n2 and without loss of generality m1 is less than m2 let us assume that f of m1 comma n1 is equals to f of m2 comma n2 which gives us 2 raised to m1 into 2n1 plus 1 is equals to 2 raised to m2 into 2n2 plus 1 which is equals to 2n1 plus 1 equals to 2 raised to m2 minus m1 into 2n2 plus 1 here on lhs the number is odd and on rhs the number is even and we know that it is not possible that odd and even number are equal so our assumption was wrong f of m1 n1 
is not equals to f of m2 n2 and therefore we get that the fx is 1 1 as a and b are not equal f of a and f of b are not equal so option c and d are false now remaining option a and b now f is a function from z greater than 0 cross z to z now f of mn is defined as 2 raised to m into 2n plus 1 taking this equals to 0 because there is a element 0 in the codomain and if it is on to then there exists at least one free image for it now we know that 2 raised to m is not equals to 0 which means that 2n plus 1 should be equals to 0 which implies that n equals to minus 1 by 2 but it does not belong to set z the set of integers therefore the zero element in the code domain does not have any free image so there is no free image for zero therefore f is not on to and thus option b is true and a is false and the correct answer is option b thank you and get the best material for preparation by just one click the link is given below in the description also check out other videos in the series over here.